iWaveMod.com Claire ค่ะมดค่ะ Today we are going to talk about the most common mistake when foreigners speak Thai Right, we are going to talk about 12 items Let's get started Number one is the difference between the word Ru and Ru In English, they both mean to know, right? But you have to choose the right word. Ru means know the the information, and Ru means know about someone. So let Kupa give us example, please. For example, if I want to say I know Anna, mm -hmm. so you know Anna is a person, right? You know mm -hmm. about person, something mm -hmm. or places. Mm -hmm. So you have to use the word Ru Right. So I know Anna. Chan Rutsap Anna. Chan Rutsap Anna. Because Anna is, you know, not information, right? Yeah. People. Yeah. Or if I want to say, I know that Anna doesn't like spicy food. So mm. this is the information. So Correct. we cannot use the word Rutsap anymore because we have to use the word Ru. Right. So I know that Anna doesn't like spicy food. Chan Ru Wa. The important thing when we use the word ru is have to use the word wa always before the information that you are um, reporting. Right? Yeah. Uh, so one more time, ru always have to follow by wa and information and ru ta is used with a noun. It's always like a noun, like about people, places, and things. Okay? Second one is the word ao, ko, and shui. Let's have a look what are the differences when to use each word. First word is ao. This is very simple. I'm sure many of you already knew this word. Ao we use when we place order, when you go shopping or you place order at the restaurant. For example, if you go to a restaurant and you want to get pad thai, so it's very easy, you have to use the word ao. Mm -hmm. Ao. And you know, if I want pad thai, I just say ao pad thai ka. Ao pad thai ka. Mm -hmm. Or when you want to order uh, water, you could say ao nam plow ka. Or for male speaker, ao nam plow ka. Right? So ao. You can use it simply by just follow by your order. And second thing, we can also use out to offer something like I am eating this chocolate and um, I want to suggest it or offer this to a pair. I could just simply say, Ao mai? Ao. That would be her yes yeah. response. Or if she doesn't want, you could say, Mai ao. Right. So when you, you know, walk on the street and you see Sometimes street sellers yeah. come to sell you something and you want to say no, you could say May ao ka, may ao ka. Okay? Next is uh, ko and chui. Okay, can you uh, give us the explanation and um, example, example, please? Sure. For example, if you want to ask, you know, can I take a photo? Mm -hmm. Can I take a photo? So we have uh, to use the word ko and to take a photo is thai mm -hmm. So can I take a photo? Ko thai rup. Dai mai? Right. Ko thai rup dai mai? Ha. But if you say can you, when you ask someone to do something for you, we would say chui. Chui do something dai mai. So if we uh, want someone to take photo yeah. for us, we would say can you take photo? Chui thai rup dai mai ka. Chui thai rup dai mai ka. So that's the difference. I yeah. want to repeat again. Can I is ko and dai mai at the end. For can you would be chui and do something dai mai. That's it. <laughs> Very easy. And we have one important note for you when we use can I have something? What do we need to do? What is the most common mistake? So remember to not add the word me. 
me, which is have in the sentence because mm. call and then daima is already mean can I have. Right. For example, if you go to coffee shop or a place and mm -hmm. want to get a Wi-Fi password, so we just say call rahat Wi-Fi daimai. Call rahat Wi-Fi daimai. Don't forget, like we don't add the word me in right. the sentence can I have. Right. We don't say call me rahat Wi-Fi daimai. Don't need me, okay? And the next common mistake that you know when foreigners speak Thai is the word tham and tham hai. Tham and tham hai. So what the difference? Tham is a verb mean to do or mm. to make, mm. and tham hai is to cause someone or something uh, a result. So example tham. To do or to make would be example um, Mod chop tam kanom I like to make dessert Mod chop tam kanom Or uh, Krupa chop tam arai ka What does she pair likes to do? Krupa chop tam arai ka Krupa chop tam ahan thai mm, She so. likes to make Thai food But for tam hai Meaning to cause someone something. Example, you want to say, um, she makes me happy. In Thai, we would say, Right. Right. You say, Kau, she or he, hai mean like to cause or to make someone a result or a condition. Mi kwam soup is to be happy. เขาทำให้ฉันมีความสุขเขาทำให้ผมมีความสุขใช่ค่ะ Or drinking beer makes me uh, fat ภาษาไทยค่ะครูแพทย์กินเบียร์ทำให้อ้วนกินเบียร์ทำให้อ้วน right. right, drinking beer cause you fat, fatness ทำให้อ้วนกิน <laughs> fast food ทำให้อ้วน right. eating fast food also cause you Fats. <laughs> okay, so that's the difference between tam and tam hai. So remember not to make a mistake. Don't mix them up. Okay, and next is the word want. Want in English, you could say I want this, I want to do that. But in Thai, we have to think what you are talking about. We have the word ya and ya hai. Right, so if you want to do something, mm -hmm. you need the word ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So remember, ya, yeah, this is want to. Mm -hmm. So want to, of course, have to follow with a verb. Mm -hmm. I want to do, I want to go, I want to eat. Mm -hmm. For example, if I, you know, I would like to say that I want to go to Bangkok. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Bangkok. So very easy. I can just say, chan ya. But if you want someone do something, like I say, I want to say, I want you to speak Thai every day. Pasa Thai, you have to say, yeah, hi, someone do something. Like I would say, mod or rao, we want you, yeah, hi, kun, speak Thai every day. พูดภาษาไทยทุกวันเราอยากให้คุณพูดภาษาไทยทุกวัน Alright And another thing with the word yeah As Krupa mentioned earlier It has to always follow by a verb Another common mistake is when in English you say I want a new phone You would say ผมอชันอยากโทรศัพท์ใหม่ But that is not correct what is the correct way, Kupaka? You should say the word yak die. Mm. Yak die. Because die, the word is to get or mm. to receive. Mm. So you should say, Rao or Pom Chan Yak die. Tora sap mai. So when you want a thing, always have to say die, meaning to get or to receive. Another one is um, when you say, example, yak. I want. Uh, a boyfriend. I want a Thai boyfriend, maybe. <laughs> um, you wouldn't say, yeah, die, 
a person okay because อยากได้ only use with things so if you say um ผมออฉันอยากได้แฟน it means like you know fan your boyfriend or girlfriend comes in the box like a thing that you order so but if you're talking about people always have to say อยากมี like want to want to have ใช่อยากมีแฟน want a boyfriend or girlfriend or อยากมีลูก want a child want a baby okay so that's the difference in the word between the word wants in Thai อยากอยากให้อยากมี or อยากได้ Next word we have put, put, bog, bog, mm. and the last one, kui, mm -hmm. kui. Let's have a look at the differences between these three words. All right. So the first word is put. Put is to speak. Mm -hmm. For example, I want to say, I like to speak Thai. Chan ya put. ภาษาไทยโอ้ย sorry I like sorry like is ชอบ okay ชอบ so we say ฉันชอบพูดภาษาไทย right speak Thai พูดภาษาไทย alright and we have the second word บอกนะฮะบอก is to tell okay so บอก tell example um have you tell her yet คุณบอกเขาหรือยังคุณบอกเขาหรือยัง or I have something to tell you มีอะไรจะบอกมีอะไรจะบอก or what about the word คุย and then the last word คุยคุย is to talk so like um I am going to talk on the phone or I'm on the phone มดกำลังคุยโทรศัพท์อยู่ so talk on the phone you say คุยโทรศัพท์ Or I want to talk to you. มดอยากคุยกับแพร Or ฉันอยากคุยกับคุณ To talk is คุย And actually, one more word I just remember is the word เล่า Right? เล่า means to tell. So usually before we say บอก means to tell like you tell information. But if you want to tell story, we will say เล่า Like เล่านิทาน Tell um. Fairy tale. Right. Ah, เล่าเรื่อง tale stories. Right. That right. So we have four words that um many foreigners or many students often mix them up. So be careful. Choose to use the right words. And next is my, my, and ya, ya. What is my? This is very simple. Everybody knows my. My is not that we use to negate verb or adjective in Thai. Like um, mod my h e l I'm not hungry. k u p a my n e i She's not tired. Or r a u my c h o p We don't like. So that's simple. My. But um, the mistake that people tend to make is when you want to say the word don't. Don't do something. Yes. Can you give example, please? For example, don't go to bed late. Mm. Don't go to bed late. Ya n o n d u k Ya n o n d u k Right. Or uh, don't drink too much. We will give a command not to do something. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. <laughs> so <laughs> you give a command not to do something. You say ya. กินเหล้าเยอะ right don't drink too much or อย่าดื่มเยอะ okay so yeah. my just normal not yeah. used to negate verb and adjective but อย่า used to give a command not to do something like don't don't do that อย่า and next most common mistake is the difference between the word ประมาณ and เกี่ยวกับ right in English both means About, but in Thai, you have to think a little bit. How do we use each word? Can you let us know, please? Right. So we have two words, as p r o m o t mentioned earlier. We have ประมาณประมาณ and เกี่ยวกับ Both of them are mean about. But if you talk about a story or information, you have to use the word เกี่ยวกับเกี่ยวกับ For example, even to say today, I just watched the news about Thailand. Mm. So we just say, "ข่าวเกี่ยวกับ
ประเทศไทย right. ข่าวเกี่ยวกับประเทศไทย so news about Thailand right but um ประมาณประมาณ means about as in approximately so if you say um uh, the price is about 200 b a ร h t you say ราคาประมาณ200 b a ร h t right or um he his age is about 30 you talking about approximately so we say ประมาณ30 okay so one about uh, sorry เกี่ยวกับ but if you mean about yeah. uh, approximately as number ใช่ we say ประมาณ very easy just have to choose the right words all right and we have next word is ฟังฟัง and ได้ยินได้ยิน so the first word ฟัง is to listen mm -hmm. but ได้ยิน means to hear right example if you want to say um I like to listen to music มดชอบฟังเพลง or um do you like to uh listen to the radio คุณชอบฟังวิทยุไหมวิทยุ radio right but uh ได้ยิน yeah so ได้ยิน is to hear mm -hmm. for example you want to ask can you hear me mm -hmm. can you hear me you can just say ได้ยินฉันไหม mm -hmm. or ได้ยินผมไหม mm -hmm. or uh, I heard the news ได้ยินข่าว mm -hmm. right ได้ยินข่าว right so that's just the between the word ได้ยิน and ฟัง hear or listen so choose the right words okay and the next most common mistake you tend to make is just the word order when you say will not I will not go. What is it? What do people say? So normally people just say no will. Mm. For example, like oh I I'll I'm not going. Mm -hmm. Right? Instead of Pom Za Mai Bai or Chan Za Mai Bai. Most of the time, you know, our students mm. or you know foreigners they always say Pom. ไม่จะไป or ฉันไม่จะไป right actually the word order is exactly like English will not will uh, จะ not ไม่ right จะไม่ do something like you use ไม่ to just negate the verb จะไม่ will not yeah. มดจะไม่ทน Alright, and next word we have เองเองตัวเองตัวเอง and คนเดียว So what are the difference between the three words? ตัวเอง first word ตัวเอง mean oneself. You talking about oneself like herself, himself, myself, ourselves. So for example, I'm telling you, please take care of yourself. I would say ดูแลตัวเองนะดูแลตัวเองนะคะ or um the Thai expression หลงตัวเองหลงตัวเองหลง means to offset ตัวตัวเอง oneself like offset with oneself mean like you think higher of yourself um ครูแพไม่หลงตัวเองครูแพสวยแต่ไม่หลงตัวเองนะ so that's the meaning of ตัวเอง but then Oh, we have the word "eng". Eng. Eng. Yeah. yeah. What does it mean? So "eng" is we at the end of the sentence mm -hmm. when you do something by mm -hmm. yourself, you mm -hmm. know, or you know, herself, mm -hmm. uh, his, himself, myself. Mm -hmm. For example, I want to say like I cook myself, mm -hmm. but I, you know, I cook by myself. Yeah. I can just say, ฉันทำอาหารเองฉันทำอาหารเอง Right. Or I drive myself, you know, mm -hmm. I go to work by myself. Mm -hmm. Or you can just say, ฉันขับรถเอง Right. ฉันขับรถเอง Right. And you put it after verb when you do something to describe that you do something by yourself without help. And คนเดียวคนเดียว means alone. Yes. So many students they tend to use คนเดียว for um, do something. Alone mm. by themselves, but actually that means 
เอง right คนเดียวจะมี one person yes. alone like I am alone um uh, most you คนเดียว I am alone most you คนเดียว right or, or don't like to eat alone ไม่ชอบกินข้าวคนเดียวไม่ชอบกินข้าวคนเดียว <laughs> so that's the difference ตัวเอง one self เอง do something by yourself and คนเดียว means alone choose the right words and the last item we want to clarify with you is about pronunciation yeah. when students say the word 11 and 18 can you show me show everybody how a uh, foreigner usually make mistakes yes um the number 18 mm -hmm. the number 18 is sip and then bad mm -hmm. you know sip as 10 and bad is 8 ha. so 18 sip bad mm -hmm. but most of my students mm -hmm. you know or maybe i heard foreigners mm -hmm. being on the street mm -hmm. they will say sip bad Mm. You link the ending sound mm. of the first syllable together with the second syllable like you usually do in English yeah. But in Thai we have to say it clearer We kind of sip You s close your lip, you stop it and start a new second syllable Bad, sip bad, not sip bad <laughs> Sip bad, it sounds like 11, yeah. sip eight. So it sounds close to 11, sip Chai. eight. Sip eight. So 11, sip eight. Mm. sip eight. Mm. And 18, 18, 18. Yes, just have to slow say it clearly. And next one is the number 20. What is 20 in Thai? Please tell us. 1, 2, 3. 20 is. Song Sip. My Thai. My Thai Song Sip. The correct one is. Y sip. Right. Y sip. Yeah. Right. So more of my friends, you know, foreign uh -huh. friend or uh -huh. student, a uh -huh. lot of them say song uh -huh. sip because like you know two ten because right. they get, you know because we have thirty some sip forty right. sip. So everyone think oh maybe twenty is you know song right. sip as well, but no, we have a right. special right. word y sip. Ha. But um, I think sometimes people know but they forget because usually when they say two is song so it's say 20 yeah. okay song sip so it just have to be conscious you know when you speak time you have to be conscious <laughs> you have to think a little bit okay so those are the most common mistake foreigners tend to make when you speak Thai so now please choose the right word or think a little bit before you say it. but don't worry anyway we all learn from mistakes yes. right and that is one of the best lessons all right from mistake Practice hard and yeah. I will see you next video. Right. Thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter on our website learntaiwithmod.com and if you're on Facebook, mm. like us on Facebook, Learn Thai with Mod. And we will see you again next lesson soon. Sweet.